Good morning, everybody, and welcome to our little podcast for you. Hope it uh, helps you in uh, dealing with the uh, virus that we have going. Um, I'd like to share with you, uh, we just finished Mass, Father Jeff and myself, and uh, I'd like to share with you the gospel from today was uh, the gospel that we're all very familiar with. Uh, uh, St. John's Gospel uh, talks about Jesus' changing water into wine at Cana. Uh, then he goes back to, to, get to Cana from Galilee, and that's when the royal official comes to him, and uh, his son is very, very sick, and he pleads with him to, uh, to cure his son. And um, uh, Jesus says to him, uh, go, your son will get well and live. And it said that the uh, royal official put his faith in Jesus at that time. And uh, he, he went, went, went back home and uh, found that the same time Jesus told him this, that his son, son got, got well. And, and as I read that this morning a little earlier, I thought to myself, uh, there's a good lesson for us in this. You know, uh, the, that first uh, miracle was done in front of everybody, and it was changing the water into wine. But this miracle is done from afar. And, uh, and Jesus told the royal official that his son was cured. And, you know, and it's, I, I, I thought to myself, if I were in that situation, it'd be much harder for me to know that things are going to be okay because uh, Jesus told him to go home. Uh, and he did. He put his faith in him. And, uh, and so that tells me that uh, uh, a couple of things. One, that uh, Jesus is watches over each and every one of us, and, and, he, and he continues to love us, and he continues to help us. And we're going to get through this. But it also told me that we can reach out to people who are far. We're separated from a lot of people. We can, we can call them on the phone to encourage them. Uh, we can send them an email uh, to let them know that we're thinking about them and praying about them. Um, we, we can even uh, uh, send a letter, a little note uh, that, uh, that things are going to uh, be okay and that you can help them. And so I think that, that, that that's a good lesson for us as we, we begin a new week and uh, are kind of uh, shut down in our homes and that we can't get to people, but we can still... Uh, reach out to them and love them from afar. So, Father Jeff, what are you thinking? Well, you know, and, and it also goes along with everyone who's realizing the power of the Eucharist. Gosh, I miss the Eucharist so much. I wish I could receive the Eucharist, and, and we wish we could do that as well. But, for, you know, the, the, the fact that God works remotely. You know, yesterday during Mass, we asked you to make a spiritual communion, and knowing that God's not abandoned us, and, and God is still with us. I, I think one of the lessons here has got to be is the understanding God has never abandoned us. I think in many ways the world has abandoned God. And this is a perfect time. You know, I, I buried my aunt last week, 92 years old. And, you know, and all my cousins, we kind of grew up like brothers and sisters. And I said, look, you know, the reality is, is that, you know, faith and family was what we had. You know, none of us were, were raised with great luxuries and travel and all that, but faith and family. And now's the time, and, and I realize it may be more family than you want, okay? But now's the time for us to take the opportunity to teach our children that, you know, Things aren't always going to go as we want. Having stuff is not the most important thing. We have each other. We have a closeness to God. And if we've got that, I don't know what tomorrow is going to bring, but I know we're going to be okay. And that's really the, the, the message. You know, people who are freaking out and trying to buy all the toilet paper they can buy, I, I still don't understand that. But whatever the case may be, you know, trust that God is going to, he's brought us to it. He's going to bring us through it. Some of our loved ones may die. And any of us may die. But that's okay. 
as long as we're with God, dying in God is what, what all of us hope to do. My, my aunt, who did not have the coronavirus, but she was, she was sick for a month, and she was almost 92, and she said, love, had a great life. You know, and when God's ready, I'm ready. And all I'm asking us to do is realize this is a great reminder that we all have to live ready lives. You know, and as we see so many other things in our life, from sports to finances to movies to gatherings to social gatherings, you know, there's really only one God we need to worry about. The other gods that we've created, you know, everyone said, you know, our football stadiums are the largest cathedrals in this country. I doubt we had as many people in church on Sunday morning as we had at Tiger Stadium for a big game. Now maybe's the time for us to realize that. I also want you to know that, that we're here. You know, we're trying to do the isolation like everybody else. But we're certainly here if you need us. And if you didn't hear yesterday streaming on, on Mass, next Saturday afternoon from 3.30 to 4.30, we'll hear confessions. We'll, if you drive up under the little overhang, the little Port Cachere, Father Chuck or I will be sitting there, one person in a car at a time, because we don't go to confession in groups. And if there are two of you, one of them stay back at the orange cone, and then you switch. Excuse me, if the line gets too long, then weather permitting, one of them will be sitting out in the parking lot. And you know, you drive up and we'll observe the social distance the social distancing and we'll still have the opportunity to confession. If someone needs a last rites, we're there. We're not gonna deprive anybody of that. You know, as long as whatever institution allows us to go in and be there, we'll be there. But now is a good time for us to do things like divine mercy together. I think everyone's got that coronavirus prayer that we sent. If you don't have it, go to your website, maybe with your children every day, pray the coronavirus prayer so that when we feel like we're doing something and, and we're trusting in God, we can say the rosary. Um, on our website, we have Father Barron's early morning mass at 8 a.m. every day. So it's a good time for us to grow and, and, and age wisdom and grace. So we're here. The office is kind of open from time to time, but there is an emergency rollover number in case there's an emergency. We want you to know our thoughts and our prayers are with all of us. We miss being with you. And together, we'll get through this. I want to remind you also that uh, we're going to try to do this every day, put on a little short little uh, reminder and uh, let you know that everybody here is doing fine. Thank you and God bless you. God bless.